The 45 caliber automatic has a muzzle about the size of this dime, unless it's being held six inches from the front of your face by a stone drug dealer who's trying to decide if you're a cop or not. And then it looks about this big. I spent three of my 20 years as a police officer working deep undercover, buying shipments of stolen guns and drugs. And I assure you, there is nothing, nothing that will get you to sit up and take notice of the nonverbal cues of those around you more than that. Our bodies speak volumes to the world all day, every day. Research reveals that between 60 and 90 percent of the content of a message is delivered at a nonverbal level. In my 20 plus years since my wild and woolly days as a cop, I took those valuable skills both from the street and from working with some of the world's top experts in nonverbal communication. When I work with my own clients, today I'm going to share with you how to quickly pick up these nonverbal cues, sometimes we call it body language, and demonstrate some simple techniques that you can put to work immediately to help your clients and your prospects feel more comfortable in your presence. Because comfort leads to rapport, and rapport leads to trust, and trust leads to the opportunity for you to effectively and ethically help your clients make sound choices. Your body language, it can work for you or it can work against you. For example, when asked, most people think that the first thing they notice when they see somebody is the face or perhaps the body. But what research shows is the first thing we notice are the hands. And for a good reason. I've just triggered your most primal and automatic survival system, the freeze, flight, and fight response. Because our ancestors who took the time to thoughtfully consider the rustling in the bushes, they pretty quickly weeded themselves out of the gene pool. <laughs> because we are hardwired to respond subconsciously in a split second to sudden changes in our environment. In an ancient area of our brain known as the limbic system, sometimes we affectionately refer to it as the lizard brain. And the lizard brain's most important job is to immediately evaluate the body language of those around you. Decades of research reveals that things as seemingly innocent as how you approach someone, how you shake their hand, how you use gestures, or something as seemingly simple as how you seat people in your office all have a significant impact on that critical first impression that you make because that is the cornerstone for either the success or failure of your future relationship. Rapport, trust. Once you have it, what do you do with it? It's only when we can understand the complex unconscious behaviors that drive our clients' decisions are we in a position to finally help them discover their true motivations and goals for working with us. How? I'm going to share with you the principles behind an ethical and rapid influence process that I was privileged to be trained in by one of the world's top experts from the Yale School of Medicine. The process begins with a simple series of questions. And here's how we start. 